Hey man, y'all gotta be careful how you treat people because it definitely come back to you. But it comes back worse when it come back to you. I had my share of doing some wrong things and that I kinda knew I shouldn't have done and it come back to me. Worse, more frightening, more scarier. That's just the way God set things in motion it's like he set the atmosphere, you know. We gotta do things with good intent. We're not gonna be perfect, we're gonna make mistakes, but we have to really be careful how we treat other people. So we have no feelings and no sensitivity and no, uh, no heart towards people. We will come across people who don't have hearts towards us. And that's not a good feeling, somebody having no feeling, no sensitivity towards you, no remorse towards you. No remorse towards you. It's nothing worse than feeling like you are totally alone, disconnected from everybody. So you people out there that's insensitive towards people, you will soon feel how it feels to be, um, to be abandoned for people don't have no sensitivity towards you. God set that in motion. It's not that God punished you. And sometimes I believe God is, he can punish people because they say vengeance is the Lord. The Bible says vengeance is the Lord. So people that meant to do you harm and you're close to him, he knows how to teach them a lesson. Just make sure you're not the one that he's teaching a lesson to because it's not, when God gets you, it's not good. It's not good. You're not gonna be perfect. Try your best to be mindful of how you treat people. You're not going to be perfect, but boy, if you're not mindful, if you ain't got no heart, if you ice cold, be prepared for a serious wake-up call. That wake-up call is serious, man. That wake-up call ain't no joke. So just be sensitive, y'all. Don't be too hard on people. You can speak the truth, but don't wish harm on people, man, because God going to get them anyway. It's a time and a place where God may need you to battle physically or the old-fashioned way, manually. But most of the stuff, God, you ain't even got to do it. seeing all kind of little crazy stuff in him. But most of the stuff, God can do it, can do it for you, man. He can, um, he can fight your battles. You ain't gotta go out there and try to be macho man or macho woman. All you gotta do is pray. Stay close to God. Whoever, whoever is trying to harm you, God got him. Or he'll give you wisdom when you need to run. He'll give you wisdom and the strength to need when you need to run or when you need to fight. But stay close to God because most of the battles, he can quench it and knock it right out. He can knock them fires right out. So be careful out there, y'all, not to be heartless. And, you know what I'm saying? Women that's being heartless towards dudes, taking people for granted. Soon you would know how it feels to be taken for granted. Somebody using you. It goes for men, goes for women. We just gotta treat each other, be mindful of each other, feelings, and everything will be all right. I'm Alan Rillionaire. Everything you need is in the description box. So examine the description box very carefully and thoroughly. All my products and services, everything you need is there. All newcomers, welcome to Rillionaire Nation. Press like, subscribe, hit the bell for the next video. And I see the rest of y'all in the comment section. Much love, stay prayed up. I'm out.
What's up, Rillionaire Nation? This your brother, Alan Rillionaire. Alan Williams, the Rillionaire. The Rillionaire. A-W-T-R. I'm all in one. Here to let you know if you want your Pookie and Ray Ray Rillionaire Anthem shirts. Send me a message on Instagram, along with your shirt size and everything. And uh, let me know your address. And um, the shirts are $50. So you pay. And then let me know your size and address and the shirt that gets sent to you, okay? And any other shirts that you want from me, let me know and I'll send it to you to send me the information and I'll send it to the Cash App or PayPal $50 and your shirt will be on the way ASAP. Much love to you. Reading Nation, I'm out.